I'm Jesse. And I'm Josh. And this is Dirt Dome Heart Adventures. Today we're going to review our 2017 Hiker Trailer Deluxe. It is a 5x8. Um, we had wanted a teardrop trailer for a long time, but they were just way out of our price range until we discovered um, the Hiker Trailers on the Outdoor Magazine YouTube channel. Our model is the 5x8 Deluxe. That's what it was called at the time we ordered. Now I believe it's called the Highway Deluxe, if you were to go on the website and order one. So basically, as far as the ordering process goes, you can go to their website, which we'll attach a link to below. Um, at the time we ordered, the website didn't have as much information on options as it does now. It's a lot easier to pick and choose the things you want. There's detailed photographs of, of everything. Um, so basically the process starts with there's a 40% deposit um, and at the time we ordered we had about a six month wait for the build and there's two locations you can order from one's in Indiana and the other's in Denver Colorado so we went with the Indiana location just because we're here in Maryland it was the, the closest option for us on the hiker website you have the option to build your own trailer uh, which is how we did ours and I believe they responded in about a day with a quote so rather than me getting to exact pricing which may have changed at this point uh, over the years since we bought ours probably the easiest thing to do is go ahead and if you're interested in one of these start the build process yourself and then you'll get an idea of what one of these costs they start around $3,500 at the time we looked and then it just increases with all the add-ons and uh, you could get off-road models, things like that. So it's a pretty wide price range, but it's one of the most affordable options as far as teardrops go from what we've seen on our research. All right, so I'll go over some of the add-ons uh, and options that we put on ours. Uh, so ours is the 5x8 Deluxe. Uh, standard comes in white. We added the diamond plate we added opted for the little fancier rims uh, these are 14 inch you can get 15 inch um, we added the roof rack and then so if you standard if you're the roof rack standard you get these two racks and then we actually added a third one here so that way you could put like a 12 foot or longer kayak on and have a little more stability than just with this span right here so uh, we added that. We also added this, the Rhino Rack Sunseeker, which will demonstrate uh, the awning here. And um, we added a screen door, which is not standard, uh, just for you know, hotter nights. That way we can open the, the screen door. So up front here, we added a couple things we added the front window uh, we're taking this into bear country and we thought it'd be nice to have view of the car and things in front of us just to, for safety reasons uh, this tire I would suggest that uh, if you if you want a matching spare uh, rim to order it from hiker I actually ordered this one for amp from Amazon and just got the plain rim it was like 70 bucks for the for the rim and tire and then we ordered a uh a mount to store it uh which was like 17 bucks on amazon one thing i'll warn you is that if you order this setup uh, we actually had to have a welder raise it for us because we were pulling it with a subaru outback which is a lot uh, lower ground clearance than a truck so the tire would actually rub if you're on a steep enough incline, it would actually rub down here. So just something to keep in mind if you're pulling it with a car. Okay, so we added this uh, galley door. This is a, um, it's a larger one and it's a side swing also. So the reason we added the side swing door is because uh, if we wanted to haul kayaks or anything that might stick off the back a little bit, the standard one's an upswing door, so we didn't want the upswing door to always be bumping into the kayaks and not be able to get in the galley easily. And um, we also added this two-inch receiver, 
so we could put in a, a bike rack or anything or just a standard rack to hold coolers um, so that was an add-on and these jacks were an upgrade I believe from the standard ones that might have changed uh, and these are just super easy to use um, you can just level it right out that way and then they return right back in where they came from so we can Let's take a look at the inside. The hiker trailer does not come with a mattress, so we ordered one off of Amazon. This is a Milliard six inch memory foam tri-fold mattress. It does fold into a sofa. Um, when we first put it in, it fit a little snug and we were just a little concerned. It was pushing a bit much on the screen door. We didn't want to damage it. And also it was kind of difficult to fold it into a sofa when it was so snug. So we actually trimmed an inch off of this and it's much easier to use now. And here, come on in, take a look. You can see it's pretty spacious. Um, my husband's pretty tall and when this is folded into a sofa, um, he has plenty of headroom. He doesn't hit his head up here. So this is really great. As you can see, there's windows on each side they each have a screen, which is super nice on a hot night. There is also a fan, and I'll turn that on so you can see how this works. You do have to have the skylight open when you operate the fan, which is as simple as turning this crank. There are also lights. So there is a pass through to the galley in the back. When you order your hiker trailer, you can let them know if you want it in the center, on the left or right hand side. We opted for the center. That way, if one of us needed to get back here, we didn't have to climb over the other. And this is super convenient. There's some cubby spaces above. That way you can reach anything. You can store anything up here. And then below, um, it also goes through to the galley. You can have this sectioned off if you like. We opted not to do that. In case we needed something down here, we can still reach it. On the front part of the hiker, there is um, a couple cubby spaces here as well. There's also a 12 volt adapter here. And then you have two plugins here, which is fantastic for charging your iPhone or iPad. This is also a voltage meter to let you know how much juice you have left. Um, we actually run off of solar power, but you can plug this in as well. So some of the things that we added ourselves are these 3M hooks. And I ordered this is an iPad holder off of Amazon. Um, I also use the 3M hooks to, for our curtains. They hold our curtain rods. And these are actually pillow shams that I just had lying around the house that seem to work perfectly. Um, I'll attach all the links of where we purchased all of these things below. One last thing, I made this beautiful adventure sign myself from an old atlas. And Josh just loves it because it's super in the way of this. So we're constantly shutting it in. It's adorable, but it's probably going to come down. I'm going to show you the galley. I know Josh kind of gave you a sneak peek. I'm going to show you how I organized everything. Uh, I ordered some bins. They're collapsible cube bins. And then I kind of organized everything and of course made these lovely labels. So this is all of our kitchen supply. This is basic camping supply. And these are our towels back here. This I use actually by the front door to keep our shoes in at night because there's really no place to put your shoes and I don't want them sitting on our clean mattress. So we kind of sit down, take our shoes off, put them in the bin, put them under the hiker trailer. There's, it's not gonna get wet, this bin seals shut. This is where I keep our stove. We have a little table we set up. This is for washing our dishes. And my favorite, our trash can, made by me. So another add-on that we did were the side tables for the hiker trailer. We did two, one for each side. Um, I store them up here on the top shelf of the galley. 
and Josh is going to show you how you install them. So uh, this is probably one of the only, I won't call it a negative, but um, the, so basically these uh, tables slide into these brackets right here. It's pretty easy to scratch the side of your trailer because these are pretty sharp metal ends. So um, the people at Hiker make you very aware that to be careful when you install these, but basically they just slide right into this bracket. And they're super easy to put on. You just gotta be careful that you don't scratch the side of the camper. Um, and the legs is adjustable and drops down. You can just tighten it to whatever height you need. So we actually added one for each side and we set our stove up here and cook on this side. And on the other side, we uh, do set up like a dishwashing station. So a couple of add-ons that we had done ourselves is this bike rack that we had ordered and also this DIY solar shower that I had made. Wait, you made? Okay, Josh made. <laughs> he That's actually funny. filmed a DIY video on this and we'll post that later on. So down in the corner of the galley is where the 12 volt AGM battery is. Um, that will power the fan and the lights. It's not strong, it won't power a heater or anything like that. Um, so if you're trying to run electric heat, you actually gotta run direct uh, at a campsite uh, and plug in, um, which will also has this power strip right here that you can use when you're plugged in. Sitting over on the side here is where you would actually plug in at a campground. And when you're plugged in, you'll actually charge up the battery. Uh, so you can, um, you know, if you're out dry docking somewhere, you can actually be charged up so you can use your lights and fan and everything. And this plug here actually uh, is where you plug in for your solar panel, uh, which will also charge the battery. So the electrical package we ordered comes with this ZAMP 40 watt electrical panel, and it just simply plugs into the side. Right here. And then uh, there's an indicator on the back of the panel it tells you whether it's charging or not so right now it's telling us it's charging and uh now it's juicing up the battery okay we also have this uh genius uh g3500 uh battery charger so when you're plugged in this is what charges your battery up so we'll go ahead and show you what it looks like with the awning opened up let's speed this up a little bit shall we As you can see, it goes up really easily with two people, and it's fairly easy to put up yourself if you have to. And what's really nice about this is the legs are adjustable. So if you're on ground that isn't level, that's not going to be a problem with this awning. Now that we've gone over everything on our hiker trailer, we're going to give you the pros and cons. Josh, you want to take the cons? Yeah, so there was only a few cons. Overall, we had a great experience. Um, one was that the website at the time we ordered our hiker trailer was uh, it was very hard to find all the options that were available. So um, we probably had four or five change orders throughout the build process. But since then, I've noticed that the, the website's been completely overhauled, so that really shouldn't be a problem for anybody else. 
Uh, one other con was the communication at the time was a little slow. Um, there were a lot of orders in when, when we had ours done and, um, and it's a small company. So a lot of times you're dealing directly with um, not only one of the owners, but also one of the guys who's building your trailer. So um, he's kind of multitasking. So it's probably hard on his end, which is totally understandable. Um, so something to think about. It's not a, a huge company where you can instantly uh, talk to somebody in customer service and get instant feedback. Um, one other issue we had was the front window leak on our way home from actually purchasing the trailer. So when we got home, we had to, um, we sent an email to Wes from Hiker Trailer and he sent us a window out probably within three or four days. Now I had to actually change the window out myself. I'm pretty handy. Uh, I'm a contractor and a home inspector, so it was pretty easy for me to, to do. I switched it out. There was no problems or no leaks uh, since then. Um, so if you're not incredibly handy, you know, there's chances are unless you live close to one of these dealers, either in Colorado or Indiana, uh, you'll probably get the parts shipped out to you if you have a problem. But as far as fixing it, you're probably on your own unless you can get it back out there. So kind of a downside, I guess. But plus side is you're getting a custom built trailer to exactly what you want, not just getting something off the from a dealership so you know hopefully the good way outweighs the bad um, I think so <laughs> yeah I think other than that we didn't really have too many problems at all it was a great experience for sure so, what are some of the pros you thought of? um well for one um the hiker trailer is super light I have a Subaru Outback um, and it has a 2.5i four-cylinder engine mm -hmm. and it pulls this with no problem whatsoever. Sometimes you actually forget it's back there. Um, another pro is that everything's in here, um, which is why we really wanted one of these. All of our camping stuff is already inside. So if we want to go camping, we can literally come home from work, hook it up, throw a bag of clothes in and we're good to go. So that was really what we were looking for. Another pro, uh, honestly, there's just too many to list. We are in love with this hiker trailer. We're so happy we purchased it. I can't say enough nice things about it and we really do enjoy it and we can't more now that we have this. Do you have yeah. anything else to add or? Well, I would say even if um, you're not into the idea of glamping because it's definitely if you're a backpacker or a tent camper it's a step up i'm sure compared to people in rvs it's <laughs> pretty primitive but um <laughs> for us it was a luxury item we were used to sleeping on the ground in a tent so this was really fantastic for us but if, if you were a, a, a backpacker or a mountain biker kayaker um if you live like here in maryland we usually have to travel at least a few hours to uh, most of the places we like to camp. This gives you a nice base camp where you could just pull into a campground and maybe go backpacking for three or four days and come back and have a nice place to take one more night's rest before you leave. And, um, or if you're a mountain biker, you know, you could go mountain biking all day and you come back and you have a nice comfortable bed to sleep in. So it's, um, it's kind of like multi-purpose you could either take it on a road trip or just use it as a base camp works great either way oh and another pro is that when we did pick up our hiker trailer Wes is fantastic I mean he went over everything he showed us what every switch or drawer I mean he just went over everything with us we were not leaving there unless we knew how to operate every single thing on this vehicle I mean he even hooked it up for us the lights um, he showed us how to operate the hitch, I mean, the solar panel, you name it, he showed us how to do it. So that was fantastic. And he was super honest. We had um, some of the things we added after the fact, I had contacted him for, for like the, um, the, the rack for the spare tire, things like that. And he said, you know, I showed him what I was looking to put on there. And he said, you know, probably by the time I ship it to you, you're better off just ordering it from Amazon or something like that. So he's definitely runs a very honest business um, and isn't trying to make every penny he can off you, which yeah. is really nice. So We really appreciated that. And you can always reach him if you have ideas of things you want to add. 
you know, you can always shoot an email and then he can give you some idea of how to go about it or if he has parts in stock to help you out. So, yes, it's really nice. I think that's about it, you guys. Well, that was our first video. We hope you like it. If you do, please like and subscribe below. And uh, we'll be posting some more soon. So please stay tuned. And we're going to take it to Yellowstone. So we'll have oh, yeah. a video of our travels there. So we can give you an update on how everything worked out on a longer trip. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. He may leave me there. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Thanks All for right. watching. See you guys later. Bye.